there's still a lot that needs to be done on gender diversity. It's already a great start that more people are talking about it and have awareness of it. And that's something that's important to fight the subconscious biases which we all have. I'd only ever done one interview in my whole career where I wasn't asked about my gender. And for me, I wanted to make the sport more diverse. I wanted to pass on the baton to the next generation. But I also wanted to make the sport more accessible to women and for them to understand that it isn't just a male-dominated industry, there are opportunities. And at Venturi, we are one-third female, something that I'm very proud of. So I was introduced to Rima, who told me that she dreamed of being a racing driver, and I said, well, this is what you need to do to enter the sport, and kind of gave her some tips. I think, you know, for me and my personal experiences, I didn't know anything about racing. I didn't know how to, you know, get my foot in, what I needed to do. When I had this encounter with Susie, for me it was a sign that I needed to jump on it and just start racing. And I didn't know how, I didn't know where, I just was like, okay, I need to try. I got on a track, went to a racing school, and then a few months later got my racing license. And here I am today, racing for two years um, and doing what I love. Girls on Track is an initiative which I co-founded with the FIA and it, it's basically to increase the diversity within the sport and what's so powerful is having the FIA which is the governing body supporting us and making it a real global initiative and we basically want to inspire the next generation of young girls who want to create opportunity within the sport and make sure that they're supported through role models and mentoring within the sport and we have some fantastic ladies who are part of the team at Girls on Track. Before the pandemic hit, we put on live events. We would get young schoolgirls to the racetrack and open up all the different areas and aspects of the sport. And now, due to the pandemic, we're doing everything virtually, which actually has the huge added benefit that we're reaching a massively global audience as opposed to just doing local community-led events. So it's, it's an initiative that I'm very proud to be a part of and which is making progress. It's the support, it's the opportunity. That's, that's been first and foremost for me. Without that, I wouldn't be here today. So I think it's very important to, to have that platform to give women and, and girls the option if they wanted to um, and make it an option if anything.